Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is the third part of my series showing you how I make Jazida's corset body. And in this one, I'm gonna be showing you how I embellish it. If you wanna see how I made it, go and check out parts one and two. Part one, I show you how I turn an overbust corset pattern into a corset body pattern and how I make my twirls and fit it. And then part two shows the actual construction process. This mannequin here is from Corset Laced Mannequins. My amazing friends clubbed together and bought me two of them for my 40th birthday and I absolutely love them. They are so perfect if you're a corset maker or if you're making corsets for yourself. Um, a lot of dress forms and mannequins aren't curvy enough for corsets. So highly recommend these beautiful mannequins if you need something to put your corsets on while you're making them and embellishing them. That's not sponsored in any way. These are a gift from my friends and I adore them. To embellish the corset body, I'm gonna be using this beautiful sequin lace, which I'm gonna cut the shapes out of. I'll put a link in the description to where you can buy this. It comes in all sorts of different colors and there's different patterns available as well. I'm also gonna be using this beautiful embellished purple lace that Jazida had in her stash. Um, I'll ask her where she got it from and if I can find it online, I'll put a link to that in the description as well. Then once the lace is on, I'm gonna be using a selection of these AB Champagne and black flat back crystals to embellish and add extra sparkle. The first thing I'm gonna do is cut out my lace and work out the placement on the corset body and then I'm gonna pin it all into place. I think I wanna bring it round and down the middle and then up and over the hips and really exaggerate the curve of this corset. So I'm gonna keep cutting and pinning and playing until I'm happy with the design and then I'll show you the next step. So I've got all of my lace cut and pinned on where I want it now. So this is the front. And that's the back. So you can see how it's really exaggerating the curve over the hip and then keeping the waist black is gonna make it look even smaller. When I bought this purple sequin fabric, I could only get purple on a purple mesh, I couldn't get it on a black mesh. And because this is going on to black satin, I want these parts to be black. So next, I'm gonna take this black fabric paint and I'm gonna paint the mesh on all of the parts that I've just cut out and pinned on on this fabric. I'm leaving the, um, the fabric with the iridescent sequins just as it is, I don't need to touch that. I like the purple mesh behind that but for all of the parts that are this fabric, I'm now gonna sit and paint the mesh with black fabric paint. Next, I'm gonna hand sew all the lace into place. I'm gonna use the black thread on the purple sequin fabric and the purple thread on the purple lace with the iridescent sequins. I've taken lots of pictures of how I've got the lace pinned onto the corset body before I start taking it off. And I'm just gonna take one or two pieces off at a time and then put them back on so I don't forget where everything goes. Now I've got the first piece of painted lace sewn on, you can really see the difference the painting it makes. You can really see the patterns in the purple now that that's hidden. And all of these parts on it, some of them aren't completely even where I've painted them, but I'm gonna have black crystals all over all of this and all the plain satin. So it's all actually gonna to blend together by the time I'm done. Here's how the corset body's looking now. All of the lace is sewn on and I've painted all of the purple mesh black. So there's the front. And the back. So the next job is to start adding crystals to it. The first thing I'm gonna do is use these Champagne AB crystals. So I'm gonna use that color of crystal around the bust and the hips just to highlight the curves there even more. Now, so it's where we've got the lighter purple lace. I'm just gonna put a line of pins where I want them to come down to and where I want them to come up to on the hip as well. So I'm gonna sort of do them more solid at the edge and then fade them to this point. So yeah, solid up here and then fading down and around and fading up the hip. Then I'm just gonna be using black flat back crystals. 
to fill in the gaps on the black satin and between the purple sequins. So to add the crystals to the corset body, I'm going to be using E6000 Fabrifuse, which is my new favorite thing to put crystals on. Um, I've made a video of a review and a test and a demonstration of how to use this. Um, I'll put the link in the description um, and I'm going to be putting them on with my tweezers. I'm going to get started because this is going to take a long, long time. And then I will be back to show you afterwards what the finished corset body looks like. Hope you've enjoyed watching me embellish Desida's corset body. I hope you've enjoyed watching the whole process right from the start of the fitting process right through to now when it's finished as well. I've still got the rest of the outfit to show you in videos that I've got coming up as well. Uh, make sure you check out my vlogs because there's some behind the scenes stuff of the process there as well. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please leave a like and leave a comment. Let me know what you think and I'll be back soon with another video.